Um, what are your thoughts on Jordan Peterson and his attacks on the green movement? Oh, I just wanted to give my thoughts on Jordan Peterson. Um, that was that was more interesting to me. Can I? Can I? Do we? Do we still get paid if I don't? Um, sure. You know, we get. We've already get. We've already been paid. So. Uh, okay. we well, have I, I think that, I'll tell you what I. So my first, just in terms of mentality, whenever I see someone who is succeeding with an audience that I find appealing, the first question is just what can I? What can I learn? What from can you? I learn? What from are, you? I agree. What I agree. What are they doing right? Yeah. And and I don't have any kind of um, full analysis of him, and I and I don't consume him. Uh, Yep. very much in part because I think clarity is a, is a big weakness of his. Uh, and I think as a, he's got, I mean, I, I think he's not a good writer. And so I think that in just one thing, when people are thinking about this, I'm telling you, I look for positive in people, but it's important that, that Peterson is almost like Trump in terms of among objectivists sometimes, like people are yeah. just so yeah. stratified and they just have this team position and just everything needs to fit in into the position. So I, I can say that like, I think Jordan Peterson does a lot of really good stuff. Well, but his, his book, unless you're a fan is I think unreadable um, in, in, in a lot of ways. I, I can't, I can't read it uh, myself, but he has moments that are really great. And so what do, what do I take from him? The number one thing I take from him is I think that he really addresses people's lives as they experience them. Yeah. And I think that's really important. I think comedians actually do this. And that's a lot of the appeal of comedy is that they'll talk about aspects of life that other people won't. Like in relationship humor, relationship humor talks about all kinds of things that people encounter in relationships that nobody will talk about. And say an op-ed in the New York Times, there's a vulnerability. And, and Jordan Peterson, he's really talking about with young men and young women issues that they're concerned about that are confusing, as I said, you know, that are complex. And he's offering, um, at least in some ways, clarity or a new position. And in some ways, he's vindicating elements of them. Like if a woman wants to have children, she feels like that's being that's being somehow discouraged, and, and he, he's liberating it. So the yeah. thing I take from him, particularly as I start to uh, engage with other fields with human flourishing projects, is is just how I can be address people's lives in a very real way as they experience them, and then be honest about my own life when I'm, if I'm drawing from my own life. So I think that's really good. Uh, his, his criticism of the green movement, I haven't seen too much of, uh, I mean, he, he seems to have some good ones and he also seems to say things that are not fully, like when he talks about the oceans, I don't think he's fully accurate no. about all of that. So one, one thing to watch out for, and this goes into, um, frameworks for consumers of knowledge is just it's it's really valuable to what one way we can evaluate people is to what extent they're good at saying when they know and when they don't know and when they kind of know something and as knowledge producers it's important for us to to, to do our best at that but you know when when somebody seems like an expert at everything or they say really definitive things about a lot of things and, and i don't know to what extent he does this that's a flag and to the extent he's good at saying hey, look, I have expertise on this one thing. I'm going to focus on that. These other things, I read something good. I think that's true. Uh, that would be a good thing. So I don't watch him enough to know where he stands, but I, I, I've seen enough to think that would be a good filter for people to have. I think that's right. And, and, I, and I think kind of the sense you get about what he says about the oceans, I get when he starts talking economics or when he says something about inequality. You know, he just doesn't really know what he's talking about. He's, he's, uh, he's, he's a... Too, too conventionally conservative and too, uh, you know, he in a superficial way thinks he knows stuff he doesn't know in, in specialized areas that are not his. Um.